Hello and welcome to my channel, Distinct and Crochet. My name is Priscilla and I would like to thank all my new subscribers for coming to check me out and all my returning subscribers for spending some time with me. Alright everyone, today is Monday so it's time to work your whips Monday. But before we get started, I did just want to mention I am wearing my Distinctive Crochet Summer Top and um, I will link the tutorial down below if you want to check it out. Um, also, I wanted to mention that... <laughs> I actually did film some of this um, Working With Monday already and the video got messed up so I'm going to be starting over again and uh, the part that you guys missed is that I actually did the um, back around my neck area so that part is done so what I need to do now is I need to uh, recreate the other side so let me show you what it's looking like <laughs> okay. All right. So right now it's uh that is where I'm at. So this all the way um has been worked all the way down my back. So what I did was. Uh, once I got uh, four rows of the shaping area, I stopped um, I stopped slip stitching and coming down the front to work the front. And I just, uh, when I got to the top of the back portion, then I just chained to a turn and went down only to complete the back portion. So I did uh, five rows of that. And now I'm uh, coming across this side where I want to repeat the same shaping on this side. The thing is, is that I don't have any stitches to um, work from, so I have to create those stitches now. So uh, you could, you could do foundation stitches and pattern. So if you felt comfortable working double crochets, um, foundation double crochets, and also foundation double crochet these stitches <laughs> then you could do that in pattern and it would look great to match up um, this side here uh, I I mean I feel comfortable doing that but so I would just suggest um, chaining from your back stitch marker all the way down to your front the same number of stitches that you have there and then maybe um, either go up a crochet hook size for your chains or just try to do them um, very relaxed, not too loose, but you don't want them to be too tight either because then that'll bunch up the uh, the other side of your front panel. So you want to do that nice and relaxed when you're chaining so that um, the stitches will come out as even as possible. And then, so once you have the number of stitches chained up, of course you want to add another two chains for your turning chain. And then, um, you know, you work in the third chain from your hook and a double crochet would be the first stitch and then you would um, skip a chain and then work a V stitch into the next chain and then continue on following the uh, chart um, the chart for the pattern that we were working from so that uh, so that is how I would recommend you do that side there is just go ahead and um, chain up the number of stitches and you know have this part from the back stitch marker to this part marked off where you can just slip stitch in that area and then the rest of it will be those um, the stitches according to the chart so you can have the same stitch pattern um, if you just did foundation double crochets it wouldn't match um, the pattern that we already have established here on this side of the panel. So that is why I'm suggesting to um, go ahead and just work the chains unless you feel comfortable um, doing the foundation stitches and pattern which would be um, probably the best because then you will already be starting off with the pattern and uh, it will probably look as smooth as possible. But the chains, as long as you do the chains nice and relaxed 
uh, you will definitely get a good result that way as well. Okay, so that is um, where I'm going to be starting at right now. I'm going to go ahead and work um, the number of chains that I need and get going on that. All right, so yes, that is um, where we need to go ahead and get started at today. So I am going to um, get my project together, get started, go ahead and grab yours whether you're working on your cardigan gone poncho with me or any other whip that you have so that we can go ahead and get some progress started on our whips for this work your whips monday all right everyone here we go all right everyone so i just decided to go ahead and share with you uh what i was going to be doing that way um you could get a better idea of what was going on and make the decision of which way you want to go um go moving forward so what we are looking at here is this is the neck shaping that I had done already these are the rows going across the back and um, I have my hook in this stitch here and I'm getting ready to uh, make the other front panel okay so what I need to do now is remember um, in the regular stitch pattern we had uh, the so we had the V stitch, which would be here, and then we would have a chain one and then two double crochets. Okay, so when I was just doing the back, I decided just to stop at the one double crochet. So actually what I need to do now is I need to go ahead and <clears throat> make another uh, double crochet. So I'm going to do that as a foundation stitch. So I'm just going to go uh, right into the two loop, the bottom two loops of that double crochet. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn over and pull through to make a chain. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two to finish that off. Okay, so now we have that um, the two double crochets. Now the next thing that we have on this side is we have uh, we have our chain one. So I can go ahead and do a chain one, and then we have our half. Um, double V stitch. I have double crochet V stitch and that is how we decided to decrease um, the stitches here so that we could have some shaping around the neck. So what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and make this as a foundation stitch. So what I'm going to be doing is since I have uh, this chain one I'm going to go ahead and yarn over as if to do the half double V stitch but I'm going to go into uh, the bottom chain that I made from the other the last stitch we just made I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop I'm going to yarn over and pull through to make a chain and then that matches the um, oops I'm sorry that matches the chain that we have on top let me just do that one more time I was out of frame a little bit so I'm just going to yarn over insert my hook into the bottom two loops yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through to make a chain okay now that just matches the chain that we have on top so now I'm going to pull through and make another chain and now I'm going to begin my half double V stitch so I'm just going to yarn over and pull through all three for the half double and now I need to chain one and I'm going to work into that same stitch so that um, it's a half double V okay so yarn over insert your hook into those bottom two loops yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through all three okay now that gives us our half double V stitch as a foundation stitch and then the next thing that we did was a foundation um, I believe we did a foundation single crochet so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and um, insert my hook into the bottom two loops I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop I'm going to yarn over and pull through to make a chain and that um, represents the space in between and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through to make a uh, single crochet okay and now we're um, right where we need to be at for our chains okay so I counted how many I had here and I had uh, 14 um, slip stitches here so I'm just gonna go ahead and chain 14 actually before I do that um, you could place a stitch marker 
in your single crochet and then that way you know you need to do the single crochet and then followed by the half double B and that way you won't get mixed up about where that is okay and now we're just gonna go ahead and chain 14 you want to do this kind of um, relaxed not too loose not too tight just nice and relaxed so that um, you can get an even tension for the match up on the other side okay so I'm just gonna do 14 of those so um, you can count your stitches to see how many you need for uh, the shaping that you did on this side okay so I'm just gonna do 14 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay so that represents the stitches that we have here now from this point on what you can do oops from this point on what you can do is you can go ahead and mark that 14th stitch and then that way you would know that that is the last um, stitch that needs to be slip stitched um, and then you can continue on chaining so you could count the number of stitches that you have going down the front chain that number and then um, chain an, an additional two more so for your turning chain so that way you would uh, turn and uh, work in the third chain from the hook and then you would continue with your that would count that that stitch would be counted as your first stitch and then you will move back up uh, the chains with the uh, pattern stitch that we have already established so you would be working the very first row of the or the row one of the pattern stitch okay so that's how you would do that but that those um, chains would count as the first stitch in this case and then you would so you would uh, skip one and then do your v-stitch and so on um, working back up from those chains um, so that is what you could do there now what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and work mine as a foundation and pattern so I am going to be doing the double crochets where I need to and the v-stitches where I need to but I'll be working it as a, the foundation stitch okay so um, if that is not something that's comfortable for you then go ahead and mark this chain count how many stitches you have going down the front and continue on chaining nice and um, uh, relaxed and chain that number that you have and then go ahead and um, work a double crochet in the third stitch from the hook and then go back up okay so that is how you would do that um, if you want to try it out with me then we we are right now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do the foundation stitches um, in pattern okay so what we're going to do now is uh, I'm gonna hold off on marking that stitch because this is kinda um, I, I'm gonna mark my next stitch which is the foundation uh, half double crochet so I'll be marking that stitch is what I did on on this side okay so what I need to do now to do a half double B I'm going to go ahead since I don't already have a stitch to work from and I just have these chains I'm gonna go ahead and work and chain up two more and that is going to be where I work the foundation from so I'm going to yarn over I'm going to work into that um, second chain from the hook I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop okay and then I'm going to go ahead and yarn over and pull through all three all right now that gives me my half double now I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to yarn over I'm going to go into that same chain that I was just in I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop I'm going to um, yarn over and pull through all three because this is a V stitch so it's supposed to be in the same stitch all right so all of that is worked into that same stitch so we have our half double right here we have our chain chain one on top and we have our half double here okay so now I'm going to go ahead and mark that and that way I know that is where I do my half double stitch half double V stitch and then I'll be continuing to de um, slip stitch and change from there until I get to the next stitch marker alright so that is marked so the next thing that we need to do is um, pretty much just go in pattern okay so from here on we have 
there's the half double V. So from here on, we have a chain one and then we have two double crochets. So I'm just going to go ahead and chain one. Very simple and easy. And then I need to do two double crochets, okay? So now I need to compensate for that chain one down here at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to go in that same chain because we're working off of that stitch and I'm going to insert my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn over and pull through to make a chain. So that chain compensates for the chain that we have on top, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull through another, uh, The other, I'm going to go through, pull through this loop again to make another chain is what I'm trying to say. And now we're going to finish off to make our double crochet, okay? So there's our V-stitch, we have our chain one, and we have our first double crochet. Now there's no chain in between the double crochet, so we just need to yarn over, insert our hook into the bottom two loops of that um, chain we just made for that double crochet. We're gonna pull it through, pull up a loop, and then we're gonna uh, yarn over and pull it through to make a chain. Now this is going to be the bottom chain that this uh, double crochet rests on top of. And now we're gonna finish off that double crochet, okay? So when we make a stitch, we need to have a chain that um, that stitch is sitting on top of, okay? Unless, um, in this case, uh, we are doing a V-stitch. The V-stitch will be worked in uh, the same chain just as a normal V-stitch would. It would be worked into one stitch. You would do a half double, chain one, half double, all in one stitch, right? To get a half double V. So that is why we did that. Now moving forward, um, we are doing ha we are doing double crochet V stitches. So we'll be uh, doing that same technique, but with double crochets, okay? And now we are on to our double crochet V stitch. So we're just gonna chain one. Now we need to compensate for this chain one at the top. So we're gonna yarn over. We have to yarn over because this is our opportunity to prepare for our double crochet V stitch. So we need to make sure we yarn over first. And then we're going to go into the bottom two loops of that last double crochet we just made. We're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. We're going to yarn over and pull through to make that chain. And that compensates for the chain that we have on top. Okay. Now we need to pull through this loop again. And this is going to be the chain that our V stitch rests on. Okay, so now we need to yarn over and pull through two to finish off our first double crochet in the V-stitch. Now we're gonna chain one, and then we're going to work in that same chain, another double crochet, and that will complete our V-stitch, okay? So that is how that looks so far. All right, that's coming out of that same chain. So now what we need to do is chain one, And now we're going to get ready to work our two double crochets. So we need to yarn over. We need to compensate for this chain one. So we're going to go into the same stitch as um, for the V that we just made. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna pull up a loop. And then we're gonna pull through that loop to make a chain. And that compensates for the chain on top. And now we need to yarn over and pull it through to make another chain for the double crochet that we're getting ready to do now. So now we're ready to do our double crochet. So pull through two and pull through two. And now we are going to go ahead and make our second double crochet, okay? So we need to yarn over, insert our hook into the bottom two loops of that chain, yarn over and pull through to bring up a loop. And we're gonna yarn over and pull through that loop to make the chain that this double crochet is going to rest on, okay? So now we just finished off our double crochet. All right, so that is what it's looking like so far. So um, I'm just going to do uh, the V-stitch that's coming next. I'll do that with you guys. And then if you want to, um, if you feel comfortable this and comfortable with this and you want to continue on, then go ahead and continue on after that. If you feel like you need just a little bit more help, you can always um, go back and rewind to watch um, me complete these first stitches again because it's the same thing. Uh, we're just going to be repeating it all the way down until we have the same length. So I'm just going to go through this uh, one more time. I don't want to run out of um, film, so I'm just going to go through this one more time with you guys, and then I'll go ahead and work off camera, okay? So we need to uh, chain one, 
as far as our pattern goes, right? And so now we need to compensate for that chain one. So we're going to yarn over because we have to do a V stitch after that. And we're going to go into the bottom two loops of that chain. We're going to yarn over and pull through, pull up a loop. We're going to yarn over and pull through that loop. Okay, and now that is compensating for the chain we have on top. So now we need to yarn over and pull it through. For this is going to be the chain for our V-stitch. So we're going to pull through two and pull through two for our first double crochet in the V-stitch. We're going to chain one and we're going to yarn over and work in that same chain. Uh, the second double crochet for our V-stitch, okay? All right, so there we have it. So let me show you what that looks like. So you can see there is the V-stitch, okay? So I'm just going to continue working in pattern um, all the way down until I have the same number of um, stitches that I have on this side for um, the top that I am making. And that way, um, you guys can go ahead and work on yours and I will come back um, to show you how I work back up because you want you don't you want to make sure that this is not uh, twisted okay and that you're working on top of the stitches all right so I'm gonna go ahead and work mine off camera and I will be right back um, to show you how to work back up into it okay all right everyone I made it back so I made it to the end and I just did the V stitch so now um, at the end of this, we don't have a chain one. We just go right into our double crochet. So I'm not going to chain one. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, work a chain off of this uh, V stitch because that is what is um, that is a space that would uh, represent. Um, we would skip a space. Let me see if that's um, yes on the chart we do um, skip a space. So I'm going to make a chain to compensate for that. So I did that and now I need to pull through to make another chain. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish that um, double crochet off, okay? And then that will um, end off my row. So now I'm ready to go ahead and chain two and turn. And you just wanna make sure that you're um, working on top of these stitches uh, the same pattern uh, that we have been working and when I get up to the slip stitches I'll be I'll meet you back again because you want to make sure that you don't twist it and work on the wrong side of those uh, chains when you do your slip stitches okay so I will meet you right back when I get up to the um, when I get up to the chain oh and if before I go if you were doing your chains then this is um, uh, I do believe I already explained that you would just chain when you get to the end of your chains that you um, will work uh, into the third chain from the hook and then double crochet there and then continue on in this um, first row pattern of the chart. Alright, so if that's where you're at with your chains, then you need to go ahead and do that row and then meet me back um, when you get to your stitch marker for uh, starting the slip stitches in the chain. Okay, I'll meet you right back. I made it back up to where I have the um, half double crochet V stitch. Where this is where I place my marker. So I'm just going to go ahead and work a half double V right into there. Okay, and now that brings the height down so that I can go ahead and work some slip stitches. And again, you want to work your slip stitches so that they are. Um, not too tight, um, just kind of like relaxed so that you can work back into them on the next uh, row. Okay, so we want to make sure we have our uh, chain laid out straight or flat uh, so that you can see where the top and the bottom is. Because when you get on this side, you want to make sure that you're working on top of the stitches here. And then that way uh, you won't have it twisted. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and work um, a slip stitch starting. I'm going to start on this stitch here because uh, it's kind of having like a big gap there. So I'm just going to go ahead and work on that and put in a slip stitch nice and loose. And then I'm just going to continue to slip stitch across each stitch until 
uh, I get to the other side. And you can just do, you don't have to do two loops, you can just do one loop if you want, and then just do it nice and relaxed. So I'm just going to continue to work the slip stitches across nice and relaxed until I get to the stitch marker, which is coming up. Okay, so right here in, um, in this, or right after the stitch marker, I have my other half double V, or actually I have my, uh, I believe this was a single crochet. Is that the single crochet? Oh, the stick, the mark stitch is a single crochet. I'm sorry. So I need to take that slip stitch out. Yes, the mark stitch was that single crochet. So we're just going to go ahead and work a single crochet right in there. And then we're going to go to the half double B. And we're just going to place a half double B right in there. And now we can continue on in pattern. This was the um, the double crochet. Remember, we had two double crochets um, that we were working on or working in. Let me see where that switch is at. Let me see. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see, but it's right here is the first ha uh, the first double crochet that we did the half the um the foundation double crochet on, and here is the original double crochet. So there's our two double crochets. So now we chain one, and then we work our V stitch as normal, our uh, regular double crochet V stitch, and then we chain one. And then we do our two our double crochet. So we have double crochet, double crochet, chain one, and then we work into our next V stitch. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and continue on all the way down the back. And then when you come, um, so pretty much we have our pattern established. So that was considered, when we get down to the back, that's considered two rows that we've done already because we did our foundation and we did this one here. So we're going to, so that's two rows. So then when we come back up, that'll be row three. And then when we come back up from this direction, that'll be row four. Okay. So that's all we need to do for shaping. Now, when we come back up from the back side, we are just going to um, continue on in pattern. So we will need to pick up our stitches here to continue this pattern here so I will come back um, when I get to that point and show you how to pick up those stitches to continue on um, the pattern all the way across as it was on the other side before we did the shaping all right so go ahead and meet me back there and um, I'll show you what to do next all right everyone and I made it back so I just did the uh, half double V stitch where the um, where we start to do the decreases but actually I'm going to go ahead and take that back out because we are not going to be doing um, the shaping anymore so I just want to go ahead and start working back in pattern again so what I'm going to do is oops, I'm going to just go ahead and work that as a regular double crochet V stitch and then we had our um, single crochet well I'm going to go ahead and so let me chain one actually and then I'm just going to go ahead and work the double crochet right into there so remember we need to do two double crochets so right in the next stitch which is a slip stitch I'm just going to work another double crochet and I'm going to chain one and then work a V stitch so pretty much we're just um, picking up and patterning where we left off along these uh, slip stitches and 
uh, what you want to do is you want to see uh, how many of each you had in between so that it can match as best as possible. So uh, this is our half double crochet mark stitch here. And so I had one, uh, two, three of those groups of double crochets and two V stitches that I need to fit in between here. Okay, so I might not always be able to skip a stitch. I might have to kind of like budge a little bit if I didn't get my stitch count right, but that is okay. And uh, that is what we're going to do. So I just did my uh, first group of double crochet. So now I need to go ahead and make a V stitch. So I have my chain one. I am going to skip that one there and work a V stitch into the next stitch. And then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to um, skip that one and work a double crochet in the next stitch and then a double crochet in the next stitch just like our pattern Oops. and then I'm going to chain one and skip one and then I'm going to work a V stitch in the next Oops. and then I'm going to chain one Let's see, I need still need to get so I have one, two, three. So I think I'm right on target here. We have one, two, three. Yes. So I am gonna go ahead and skip um that stitch and then work. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and skip. Actually, I think I'm gonna skip two stitches and work two uh just to make it look uh evenly spaced. So you might have to look at yours and see if you need to fudge it just a little bit. When you work back into it, it will just all even out and you won't even notice it. All right, so now I'm just going to chain one. And uh, this is the half double V. So I'm just going to go ahead and work right into there a double crochet V stitch this time because we're getting back into our uh, regular stitch pattern. And then I'm just going to continue on and pattern all the way down uh, the front. Oops. So I'm working another double crochet and then chain one and then V stitch. Okay, so you just continue on and pattern all the way till you get down to the bottom. And then you're just going to turn. And then just keep working right across these stitches um, in pattern as they normally would go. Okay, and that is how you're going to finish off your cardigan gone poncho. You will continue to work as many rows as you have on the other side here. And then uh, once you have all of that done, all you need to do is just weave in your ends. And um, actually... There is another part to this. We are going to be making the tabs for the front to close the front and the sides. So you could weave in your ends and then be ready for that uh, next week if you want to go ahead and continue on. All right, everyone. So I'm just going to, um, I have just a little bit of yarn. So I'll probably just work that off camera and then call it a day for this uh, part of the um, Work It Whips Monday for today. And then I will come back next week and show you guys how to finish it off. And we should be all done by next week. All right, everyone. So thanks so much for uh, coming along with me and uh, following this. If you have any questions, uh, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. And I'm just going to, I guess I'll go ahead and close um, back on camera again. So I'll be right back. All right, everyone. And I made it back. So this is what it's looking like so far. Um, so we just need to continue on going up and down until we have the same number of rows that we have on this side on this side and then that will be pretty much it for the garment um you could leave it like that if you like but uh i did want to um do the little tabs across the front and on the side for mine so next week that is what i'm going to be um next week that's what i'll be working on I'm not for sure if I'll uh, get any of this done during the week. I never know. But um, 
if I do, you you won't be missing anything because that's just um, the going back and forth. So, yes, I gave a lot of information today in the tutorial. So hopefully uh, that was able to help. Hopefully that information helped you all um, move forward in this pattern. If not, you can always leave me a uh, question down below if you have a question concerning um, the, the information that I put out today. And yes i believe that that is it i'm very excited that we are nearing the end of this and i think it's going to be a beautiful piece when we finish so i'm so glad that you all are joining me for this cardiac on concho and um or if you're just working on um some other whips that you had going already i do appreciate you spending some time with me today so please uh, let me know all of that in the comments down below give me a thumbs up and thank you again for watching i will see you all in the next one Thank you.